Child of the Book, Frog and Toad Are Friends by Arnold Lobel. Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. Wake up, it is spring. Blah, said a voice inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining, the snow is melting. Wake up. I'm not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear warm light of April, and it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on this front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I'm going back to bed. Toad went back into the house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You've been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad. A little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up at about half past May. Good night, frog. We're gonna stop reading here, friends. I want you to pause this video and go and complete your reading task, okay? And then when you're finished, you can press play to hear the rest of the story. But stop here. Hey, hey, hey. Stop here, pause the video, complete your reading task, and then press play to hear the rest of the story. Are you ready to go? Now let's see what happens next. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page and the January page and the February page and the March page. He came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up! It is May now. What? said Toad. Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on the top. Why, it is May, said Toad as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. The end.